The Rise of Homo Unioni Machina. If you've been with me for a long time, you know I have a blog at thinkfuture.com. And I wrote an article back in 2016, let me see, January 12, 2016, where I talked about Homo Nexus. And the concept behind Homo Nexus is fairly simple. It's because we now live in a hyper-connected world. We are in a world where we all have devices with us. We have devices with us at all times. And these devices are connected to other human beings at all times. So I postulated that we have moved from an individual consciousness to a group consciousness in a similar way as the Borg Collective from Star Trek The Next Generation. So if you're a Star Trek The Next Generation fan, you know who I'm talking about. But there is this race that they depict on Star Trek The Next Generation called the Borg. And it's basically a group of cybernetic organisms, which originally they start off as the, as the villains. I'm not sure how they get to be the good guys or whatever, but they probably never were the good guys. They were, they were originally a, a collective. And, we, and they were a great bad guy for... Star Trek at the time, because Star Trek was very all it was all about individualism, and the Borg were a collective. Basically, they came in, they took over your technology, they took over your people, and absorbed you into the collective. And there was no decisions that were made by individuals. All individuals were made by a collective. There was no center. If we remember the the actual ship was like a cube. There was no center to the cube. There were lots of different centers all over the place. So there's no real center. There was no real cohesive bridge or anything like that that they could attack that would destroy the whole thing. So it was, it was a pure collective. So every element of the collective had no individuality. It was all collective. And what I postulated in that 2016 blog post was that human beings have now become very similar to the block Borg collective because we have in our pockets the ability to connect with every other human on the planet at any point in time. And this hyper-connectivity that we have to any human in the planet at any point in time, if you ask me, moves us forward in evolution. And I postulated that we, aren't, we weren't Homo sapiens anymore. We can, in fact, get rid of the sapiens, because if you know what Homo sapiens stands for, it means wise man, or Homo is man, and sapiens means wise or intelligent. So Homo sapiens means wise man, whereas Homo erectus means erected man or whatever. So Homo sapiens means wise man, but we have moved on from Homo sapiens. Maybe we're not wise anymore. Maybe we can't think anymore. Maybe we're not as intelligent anymore. So that's why I replaced it with Nexus. And we have become, we have evolved with the hyper connectivity that we have with other human beings. We have become Homo Nexus or connected man or bound man. We are bound to each other. We are, in effect, the Borg Collective. Because you don't necessarily need to make any decisions on your own. You can make decisions by the Collective. You can ask the Collective things and the Collective will respond. You can, in fact, decide to let the Collective make all of your decision for, decisions for me, for you. And then if you do, if the Collective makes a bad decision, you can always blame it on the Collective. But I digress. So that was in 2016, and I think that we've moved on from that with the rise of generative AI in the last year. I think what's interesting is that we have moved beyond Homo Nexus, and now not only do we not depend on other human beings, we depend on AI. So we have moved into a new state. We have evolved. So maybe if we haven't fully evolved yet, because there's a lot of people who are pushing back on this. There are a lot of people who are pushing back on the generative AI thing, thinking that AI is a bad thing. And I've told you in, in a few episodes prior to this that if you ask me, AI is not a bad thing. It is the next step in our evolution because it consists of content that was being created by human beings. So it's our past content coming back and talking to us in new ways that are put together by machine. So the content and the results of what generative AI, cre AI creates is all human generated. We are talking to ourselves. We are talking to our past selves when we talk to generative AI. So in a way, it's an extension of the homo nexus concept because the homo nexus concept is that when I need to make a decision, instead of thinking for myself, I throw it to the collective and the collective responds with a decision. 
And if you think about it, the a generative AI is the ultimate expression of that because the collective is responding to you when you talked to a chatbot. It's the collective set of information or data that's been entered into this particular chatbot by humanity. So the way that LLM has been loaded, it's been loaded with human generated information. So when you're talking to a chatbot, you're actually talking to a sum of humanity. But we're talking about this is beyond Homo Nexus. It is the next step in our evolution. And I believe I looked it up and it's Homo Unione Machina, which is man and machine combined. And that is where we are going. So not only are we divesting ourselves of initial direct human connection, because that's one of the things about Homo Nexus that's important, that you're connecting with other people directly at the same time as you need the response. And you know that the person on the other end is an actual human. It's the collective will of humanity. But with ChatGPT, with generative AI, you don't know who's on the other end. It is an amalgam of human responses which have been put together by machine. And that's why we're now talking about homo unione machina, man uniting with machine. So we are now uniting with machine. We're not uniting with other human beings. We're uniting with machines. But if you think about it, it's not just humans, it's you, the human, it's you, the machine, and it's you, the collective set data from humanity inserted into the machine, all coming together and creating basically a new life form. Now we don't have a good name for this new life form, this amalgam of human and AI. I mean, I've thought about a few others. I've, I've thought about Humai and some other suggestions that of course I put together with the help of AI. So if you think about it, generative AI, a, in fact, an, an AGI that comes next, is creating a whole new type of humanity, a new kind of evolved human beyond Homo sapiens, beyond Homo nexus, beyond even Homo unione machina, or maybe that is our final form, a blend of human and machine. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.